Hello everyone, welcome back to Mango & Coast Patterns. My name is Marcy and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to sew the Santorini bikini top. This pattern is a bandeau top that features a strappy cutout detail in the front. The pattern for this style is available in sizes extra small to double XL at the link below. Before we start, I'd like to announce that there are new items available on my shop. You can now find swimwear o-rings, cord ends for your bikinis, and high quality swimwear elastic that is hypoallergenic and talcum powder free. Now let's sew the Santorini pattern. For this tutorial, you will especially need a quarter inch rubber elastic and a loop turner. First, you will start by pinning the lining pieces to the self pieces, right sides facing each other. Then proceed to serge at the top and bottom of the cups. Next, you will then proceed to serge a quarter inch rubber elastic onto the top and bottom with zero tension. It is important that you sew the elastic onto the dominant side of your garment. In this case, the dominant side is the floral side. If you need swimwear elastic, it is now available on my shop at the link below. Next, serge the front cutouts closed. When serging these areas, feed the fabric in a straight line like so to sew the curves closed. Now, it's time to sew the straps. Fold the strap lengthwise and serge. Next, serge a quarter inch rubber elastic onto the strap like so. Sew the elastic on with zero tension. Using a loop turner, pull the strap right side out. Then cut the strap into three equal pieces. Now it's time to sew all three straps into the front pieces. Use a loop turner to pull the straps through each strap channel. Sew across these areas using a quarter inch seam allowance. Cut off the excess seam. Flip the cup right side out. Flip the other cup right side out, however, without the strap channels poking out. Fold the cup backwards, like so, and pull the strap channels out. You will use a loop turner to reach through the strap channels and hook the straps, like so, to connect the front pieces. Do this for all three straps and sew across this area with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now, cut off the excess seam. You better grab that tambourine. 
baste each side of the front pieces at the very edge. We may be forced to cause a scene, make some trouble, baby. Now let's sew the back pieces. You will start by pinning the lining pieces to the self pieces, right sides facing each other. Serge at the top and bottom of the back piece. You will proceed to serge a quarter inch rubber elastic onto the top and bottom with zero tension. It is important that you sew the elastic onto the dominant side of your garment. In this case, the dominant side is the floral side. Now, place the front piece inside of the back piece. Both self sides should be facing each other. Match the corners like so. A trick to keep your corners into place is to base stitch them by hand. Now use a straight stitch and sew across each side using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now cut off the excess seam. Next, seam rip a 1 inch hole in this area. Use the hole to flip the garment right side out. And last of all, use a blind stitch to close the hole. And now the Santorini top is done. This is what it looks like finished. Follow me on Instagram at Mango and Coast for new swimwear patterns and other updates. Happy sewing!